Super Robot back again with another penny stock video. Today we're going to be talking about another really exciting swing trade opportunity. Uh, this is Opti, O-P-T-I, is the stock ticker symbol. And right here on OTC Markets you can see Optech International is the company. What's going on here? Why did it get volume today? Why do people like it? Why is it a good swing trade? We're going to talk about all of that. Uh, to preface, I will say, as usual, not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell based on what you see in this video. Obviously, I'm a trader, so I will buy and sell any stock ticker I'm mentioning because I'm a stock trader. So, you know, be aware of all those things. Uh, I'm not telling you this is an investment to put all of your life savings into, but uh, we're going to be approaching this from the perspective of a swing trade, and it's a really, really strong swing trade opportunity. So let's talk about why that is. We'll take a look at the share structure here first. You can see that it's a rather large share structure compared to what we're used to, but there's something really, really positive about this share structure. It might be a $4 billion float, but I don't really care. And here's why, because it's a maxed authorized share. So the share structure is max. What does that mean? Well, it means the outstanding shares is 4.75 billion. The authorized shares are 4.75 billion. They cannot issue any more shares without doing an authorized share raise first, which means there is no possible way for them to dilute the stock currently, which this alone creates a very bullish setup. Uh, if you recall STAL, I did a video on that a while back. It did a huge run from trips to almost two cents. And one of the key components to that stock was the fact that it had a maxed share structure. So it's a very, very bullish setup when you see this. And you don't see this very often because most OTC companies exist to dilute. So this creates a very unique window of opportunity for a trade setup. And there's other things, there's other factors to Opti that also create this really bullish window of, oppor of opportunity for a trade. So let's take a look at the chart first. And we can see that today we broke and closed over the key resistance level of 002. So it was a very strong bullish close here because this was really the key level to get over and we closed above it. So that really opens the chart up. How much does it open the chart up? Well, let's zoom out. And you can see that it really opens the chart up. I'm sorry, let's go to the three year. And you can see it really opens the chart up. This stock ran to almost 50 cents back in 2021. So this is one of those mega bottomed, huge reversal type of setups that have been very popular in the OTC lately. I mean, we've seen that these are really uh, what traders are looking for right now is these charts with just tons and tons and tons of room on them. And you can see when we zoom out just how much room there really is on this chart, especially above this 002 level. So this combined with a max share structure makes for a really unique and a really favorable trade opportunity for bulls here. Because there's not going to be tons of resistance as this stock continues to run. What happens when we get over this 0035 level? When we get over the 0035 level, look at how much room there is. I mean, we th what's the next resistance here? Maybe maybe in the 008s, and then after that in, in 015. And at that point, you're talking about such tremendous percent returns from 002. So that's why we're looking at this, you know, as, wow, this is a super bullish trade setup, you know, in my opinion, at least. And I bought a lot of shares today, you know, for full disclosure. So... You know, I am a trader, I'm looking to make a profit, and I'm looking to swing this to higher levels on the chart. And so I did buy a lot of shares today, I really, really like the setup. And now we have to talk about some of the other factors at play as well. You know, why did it get over 200 million share volume today, which as you can see is really, really significant volume. 
and remember that volume precedes price. We just saw last week with CBIA what happened when we had that big volume day, but it was stuck at fours. Well, the next day it flew, right? So you have to understand how these stocks behave when they have big volume days like this. Uh, they can really thin out and start to run quite quickly uh, after a day like this, okay? But there's a lot of other factors at play here that make this a really excellent swing trade. Uh, and it's very textbook. It's very textbook, and that's why I like it. It really fits the mold of exactly what I look for uh, because we have very clear catalysts here. And we also have an element of mystery and an element of speculation. And these are all key factors that we need to consider when looking at these swing trade setups, right? So we're on chapter one of the story. We're on chapter one of the story with Opti, and that's always the best time. You know, maybe chapter two, because I guess you could have gotten trips, right? But that was when it was totally dead and had no idea at all whenever the stock would wake up. So really, we're in chapter one, if you ask me, because the story is just unfolding now. What is the story? Well, the story is it's our good old pal, Brett Rosen. Uh, people will know him. If you've been in the game for a bit, you'll know Brett Rosen. Uh, he's He's been involved with a lot of OTC tickers. He's a financier. So eventually, you know, he'll be looking to make an exit from Opti. Uh, but right now, it's just getting started for him. And this is a guy that has a big network and has a lot of money and has a track record of really, really big moves in the OTC when he gets on them early. Uh, so if we look at Cyberlux, CYBL, you know, this is when Brett Rosen got involved down here. And this is where it went. And if we look at ILUS, this is where Brett Rosen got involved. This is where it went. Okay, so it's important to understand the players. And it's important to understand the people behind the stock. Okay, so in this case, we have a very uh, a key player, really, behind Opti. And so what's happening with Opti is, Opti is essentially a shell now. Old management has been booted out. And Brett Rosen won control over the ticker in court. Uh, because he had invested a lot of money into this company a couple years ago, and they screwed him. So now he's looking to make all of that money back. Well, how's that going to happen? Well, they need to get the stock price up for that to happen. Okay, so it's very important to consider that. You have to understand what's going on here. This is a guy that has a lot to gain from this stock moving up. Okay, so he's in control of the ticker now. You can see here on January 22nd, he says, as soon as things are finalized and takeover is complete, then updates will constantly flow. Okay, that's a really good start. So we know there's going to be multiple updates which means multiple catalysts, which can propel the stock further. Now, on January 24th, he tweets, I've already told you several times that announcements will be coming in Q1 for Opti. Well, it's Q1. So we're getting close to those updates, right? And now the last tweet, which was from this past Friday, this sealed the deal and really made it an excellent swing trade opportunity because now we get a date. Now we get a clear timeline. And so he says, it's going to be a whole new company. Updates are coming out as soon as legally allowed. The first PR should be out in the next five to 10 days. Okay, so this is why I'm saying we're at chapter one, because the first PR is about to come out. So now we're in anticipation mode. Now we're in full on speculation mode. We know that there's a, com a new company coming in. We know it's going to be a merger. We know merger plays are extremely popular right now and have been performing extremely well in the markets. Okay, we just had great moves on IGPK and SPZI. A nice move recently on PAOG as well. And PAOG does look to be setting up to continue. So these merger plays have just been phenomenally uh, popular and really, really successful trades lately in the OTC. And it's because they capture these elements that we look for, which is a strong pipeline of catalysts and a clear timeline on when those catalysts will be. And that's what really creates these swing trade setups alongside of obviously the chart and the max share structure, which we've talked about. Okay, and then we sprinkle in the fact that we have this guy that has a track record like this, right, where he can just moon these stocks. So you have to be aware of all of these factors and understand that this creates a really unique opportunity on Opti. All right, a really unique opportunity on Opti. Like I said, we busted over 002. What's our next level? Okay, 0036. Okay, we're over that, and this thing's wide open. Wide open. So that is my case to be made for, 
you know, why I'm of the opinion that Opti is a really strong swing trade setup here. And today's volume, again, is another confirmation of that. Because we know that volume precedes price, and we've seen how these stocks can become pressure cookers. When this much volume is traded above the previous resistance of 001415, which I'll map out for you here, right? So not only did we get all of this volume today, but it all traded above that key resistance level and broke above the next resistance. So it's very bullish action happening here. So, you know, uh, th that would be, I think, all of the really key factors to consider with this trade and why I really like it as a swing trade setup. And I think uh, there's really a lot of bullish potential with Opti. And uh, I would say, you know, definitely keep an eye on Brett Rosen on Twitter for updates that are coming very soon regarding the merger and all of the catalysts that are coming up for this thing. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.